Welcome back. You're in the command center. And today we need to talk about something you need to take care of ASAP on your hurricane supply. Now you need to make some drastic changes and additions to your hurricane supply kit as soon as possible and as soon as that you can get to the store and hopefully be able to get the products so let's get going <clears throat> first thing is with everything that's going on with the charlie victor 19 you need to make sure that you have any type of ppe that you can get your hands on um, as far as gloves masks if you need a face shield, uh, maybe some goggles, depending on whatever it is that you do. Um, you want to make sure that you have that stuff on hand and a supply of it in case of a hurricane. Now, the reason being is you don't know what's going to happen afterwards. You don't know if you're going to have to evacuate. You don't know where you're going to have to go. So if you can protect your face, and with a face shield, mask, whatever you can get, that's probably going to be a good addition to put in your hurricane supply kit in case you have to leave your home and you have to evacuate. The tropics are really starting to kick up now, so it's only a matter of time. As I speak right now, Texas is the southern part of Texas is getting pounded by a hurricane, although it's a category one, but they're also expecting a lot of flooding. You know, it could be doesn't have to be a category five storm to do a lot of damage because you're talking with the flooding. It would probably be a good idea too to also pick up some uh, hand sanitizer. Um, if you can't buy any, if there's none available in your stores, see if you can get some aloe and some rubbing alcohol, 70% or stronger, so that you can make your own just on a chance that you are evacuated and you have no choice but to go to a shelter. Uh, another way that you may be able to protect yourself and avoid getting Charlie Victor 19. Another thing that you're going to want to try to take in consideration too is this year a lot of kids are not going back to school, rather by choice or if the school district just isn't opening. So you have to make sure that you have plenty of food and snacks and stuff for your kids in the event that you either you stay at home or you have to leave and be evacuated to a shelter or family friends wherever else you want to make sure that you have stuff for the kids as far as the snacks um, maybe extra pencils pens color crowns whatever you can get your hands on coloring books anything that can you know basically keep them occupied during the storm and after the storm especially if you lose power and stuff um, if you don't have a way to charge say your um, iPad cell phone um, those type of things the kids are gonna get bored really quick uh, you might want to maybe pick up some board games so those are some things that you really want to take in consideration of what is going on with this whole Charlie Victor 19 throws a whole wrench into everything. So <clears throat> to recap, you want to make sure that you go out and you pick up any type of PPE that you can get your hands on to put into your hurricane supply kit. You also want to make sure that you have things um, as far as snacks, um, things that are not electronic that your kids can do as far as maybe coloring books, board games, anything of that nature uh, because they're going to be home with you because a lot of kids, like I said, are either not going back to school or the parents are choosing not to put them in school and teach them at home, which I think if you live in a state that is still going up in numbers is probably a very good idea. So my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And this is just a quick update on what you need to add immediately to your hurricane supply kit. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.